What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing another awesome tools under 30 bucks. Today is the little Milwaukee Rover Lite, a little magnetic Rover stick. Uh, people call it a lot of different things. If you're interested in my review, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to it. So first things first, uh, this thing runs on AA batteries. Uh, so you got two AA batteries. I was kind of impressed that, uh, you know, it, it at least came with some Rayovax in it, the high energy ones from Milwaukee. So, you know, th that's nice that they included a decent battery um, for the light as it came. Uh, this thing is 300 lumens on high, and uh, I think it's 100 lumens on low. Um, I just blinded myself, so <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 100 lumens on low. So runtime, when you're talking about, uh, they say five hours. I found this to be a little uh, exaggerated. Uh, you know, it, it really, I don't think it lasts five hours. I'm, I'm going to give it three. Uh, on six, It says 16 hours on low. Um, that might be a little more, but nobody ever uses their light on low. You want a lot of light. So Usually what I carry around is the Stylus Pro from Streamlight, uh, a well-worn flashlight. Um, you know, th these things are awesome. These things are 100 lumens. Um, you know, I'll roll in some footage here. This is above a ceiling tile. You can tell that, you know, the Streamlight is a lot more focused beam. Uh, but the Rover, it being 300 lumens, it's a flood. So it's going to flood out the light a lot more. But when it comes to uh, some some... Uh, actual work where you need to uh, shine a decent ways, uh, the Rover light's not going to do it. You're going to need something like a Stylus Pro. But nonetheless, this is a great option. It's a little too bulky to have in your pocket, but something that can go in your tool bag that doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, I know that that was one of my qualms about the M18 Rover light. It's huge, it's bulky, you know, it, it's, it's not fun to take anywhere. Uh, this is a great option. Running on AA batteries, yeah, that's, you know, that's something that's a little inconvenient. I'm glad that it, you know, it's AA's. I can go change out AA's, um, just come back and find some AA's and put them in. I don't need to worry about USB charging or uh, how to charge up my lithium battery pack for it. So, you know, I kind of like that option, but AA's don't last as long. So, uh, I, I've been through quite a few batteries in this, but it's still a lot better than um, any uh, Surefire light. Uh, Surefire is just, for whatever reason, they go through batteries like crazy. And they usually take some, those one, two, three batteries that are wicked expensive. So this is definitely a great option uh, that, that you know is budget friendly with double A's. Uh, the magnetic on it is awesome. Um, I used a bad example here. I'm trying to use a carpet knife, but it'll hang like this. And then also you can move around the, uh, the swivel here. You can move around the belt clip and you can use the, uh, the, uh, magnet on the back. So, uh, I should have brought a piece of metal or something up. So I could have showed you that, you know, it's got a mounting surface like this and also like this. So I use this uh, I've used this at night to fuel the Gator. I'll roll in a, a photo here. Um, it's it's nice that you know I can attach it to the door and kind of angle it however I need. Um, I even heck I even use it as a dome light in the Gator, um, and it holds. It definitely holds really really well. Uh, <clears throat> even when it comes to vibration and things like that, it does not fall off. So it's definitely a good asset to have. Uh, it's it, once again, it's not as focused as the stream light, but when you're coming, when it comes to floodlight work, I mean, it's really, really nice to, uh, you know, have that floodlight and have it in a compact little container like this. This thing goes for, uh, I think 28 bucks, 28.99 or maybe 27.99. I don't know the exact price. It's going to vary regardless of where you get it. Um, now Considering that this Stylus Pro will cost you about 35, uh, this is probably a better option for you if you have the means to carry it. 
So, you know, it's a lot more versatile. I hold this in my mouth all the time because there you can't set this up. Um, you know, these stylus pros come with the little, um, the little hat uh, clip, but I don't wear a hat, so what's the point? Um, so th this is definitely a lot more versatile. It has a big, hefty clip on it. I mean, this thing is, is a monster. Uh, you could clip it onto a lot of stuff. Uh, overall, the fit and finish is just <clears throat> pretty darn awesome. I like the little screws on the front for the LED panel. It's just a cool light. So, of course, I'm going to recommend it. Now it's got a lot of it's got a little bit of rash from my pocket. Um, the it looks like they just standard painted the belt clip and it's held up pretty darn good. Don't know if it's powder coated. It looks like regular enamel paint, but it's held up pretty darn good for what I put it through. So I definitely stand by this product. It's definitely a uh, awesome tool under thirty bucks. Uh, I'm I'm going to highly recommend this. And go out and get yourself one if you found the video because you're looking for this light. I mean, this thing's been out for a while. Um, I've had this for a little while. I want to make sure that I vetted it. Uh, I, I, I guess I liked it from the start. It really, I don't know anything that I don't like about this. Um, Milwaukee's coming out with the new uh, lithium power pack that is a double A replacement, I'm pretty sure. So that might be something to look for in the future. That would be a cool option for this. But once again, how do you charge something like that? I like the option to just go in and get a double-A battery. Triple-A's for this bad boy. Triple-A's. <clears throat> I might have lied to your face. Yeah, triple-A's. Okay, just making sure. I second-guessed myself and, you know, didn't want to lie to you. But, you know, you go get new triple-A's for this. Um, this definitely works a lot longer than this guy. So I find that this 100 lumens goes through those triple A's quickly. But nonetheless, I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't clicked subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Follow me on the channel. I'd love to have the support. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Those guys have stuck around and are subscribers on this channel. I appreciate your loyalty, and we'll see you guys in the next video.